Hi, hi, I'm Mia Matushak, and you're watching one of my videos. I'm glad you're here. So today I'll be doing kind of a fun video that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I've been waiting for a package to, the, to come. I've been waiting for a package to come to do the video in the first place. In the new year, I wanted to treat myself because I've been working a whole lot since I was 16 and I saved up all this money. And you already saw that I bought myself a new vehicle, which was my main priority with that money. But another thing I really wanted to buy for myself was a new laptop. Sorry, I didn't unbox the laptop in the video. I didn't think about it when I got it, but I do have this really short little clip of me opening it so you can kind of have the satisfaction of seeing what it looked like right out of the box the first time, just really quick. And I thought, what better time than in the new year, 2022, to treat myself to the laptop that I have always wanted. Upside down, my MacBook Pro. This is my MacBook Pro. Um, I've wanted, which just hit my window. I've wanted um, one of these guys since I was, like 12. I edited my first video on this guy. Uh, it was my Mexico vlog and it was just awesome. Like using iMovie on this compared to my phone, life changing. But I ordered something for it before I did this video and I think this is the package. Yep, it is. Ooh, baby. So what this is, it's a like a case cover for my Mac. And I have waited for this. It's, no, not two weeks, it's been more than that. It's been like a month I've had my Mac. It's February already. Wow, time flies. So I got this um, MacBook cover off of a girl named Layla Studios off of, or Leia Studios off of uh, Etsy. I'm gonna link her shop down below. And this is what it comes with. So it comes with the, the front piece and I got it in this like marble color, a keyboard cover, these little, uh, for the bottom bit, I assume. Oh, I guess if you want more on the bottom, uh, there's those. And then it comes with a bottom piece. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna just clean my laptop, um, like just get all the dust and stuff off of it. And then I'll install this and I'll show you guys what that process looks like. So let's get started. so cool that looks so cool doesn't it literally just this little cover yeah like i said i'll link the uh, shop in the description below but i'm happy with how it looks and also in terms of accessories i bought for my mac i bought a nice brown leather carrying case with zippers um, on the inside it has this like fluffy interior so it's super convenient to put everything away and do all that um, inside, it has an extra pocket, so the Mac goes in here, and then there's a little pocket in here. And there I have a mouse, which is super easy if you want to edit and stuff. Uh, Tanner got me this one. It's super convenient to have a mouse. I never had a mouse before. I only used the trackpad. I also have this adapter. So if you don't know, the Mac only has um, two USB-C ports on the one side and then a headphone jack on the other. So it's super inconvenient if you need USB ports. So I bought this adapter, six into the Mac, and it has three USB ports. That's where my mouse is plugged in. A micro SD and an SD card port. So when I get uh, my camera, I can use this guy and it's super easy. I actually use my microphone and actually plug it in. So that's a super big plus, my USB. So, all that video saving, all of that goes on here. 
So now I'm gonna be gonna be showing you what I did to decorate my Mac um, in terms of inside of the Mac. So yeah, let's take a look. All right, so first thing uh, you'll see when I open up my Mac is I have a bunch of little icons in the corner here that I haven't even like need to reorganize. So I have all these little icons up here. So in this upper corner, I have one called YouTube. I have one called Photos. I have one called Bell. I have one called Cactus Club, one called Music, and one called Laptop Stuff. This is something I downloaded off the internet so that when you go in the top corner, you get this little analog clock looking thing. I'll show you how to do that. Um, and I will also show you how to change um, icon icons to or like folders to whatever you like whatever photo you prefer and i'll show you where i got these ones as well this is kind of just like stuff i have on my desktop but i can't do anything with so i actually downloaded google chrome um so that's my main browser and then also so i don't forget here are all my icons on the bottom on my dock i do have quite a big dock a lot of people tend to delete a lot of them or get rid of the dock completely, but I like having it there. In terms of what Mac I actually have, here are the details. So I have a MacBook Pro 13 inch M1 chip 2020 model. So first thing I'm gonna show you super basic is how to change your lock screen on your Mac. So I like this wallpaper, but if you wanna change it, you just go to the Apple symbol in the top here. You go to system preferences and you'll get this whole like list up here. Um, and then you can go to desktop and screen saver, saver. And here you can change all to all these options, whatever one you prefer. And you can just go through and like select pictures you want. So there's one of me, it could be for the lock screen. You can even drag and drop like that. And then you can also edit your screen saver, which obviously mine is the analog clock. Um, and I'll show you how to do that next. F-L-I-Q-L-O. So I'll go to Google Chrome. Go. I think it says right there. I'll put the link in the description so that um, it'll be easier for you guys to find this. And then you just go in here and then this is what the website looks like. And then it should give you an option to download. You go in there and then right here, that's the one that you wanna download there. And yeah, so if you go to system preferences and then you search up corners, they're called hot corners. And then, so you can adjust them. So each corner does something. Um, so I do my start screensaver and that's like basically when I slide the mouse to that corner, then the screensaver will come, out, come up and that's that flip cue um analog clock that i just showed you how to download all right so now i'm gonna go over how to change your icons on your mac which i didn't even know you could do until until i got my mac um so where i found these icons it can be any png it can be anything you want so you can go on google and search up like smiley face png this and that and just save it and then you can put it in but what i do uh, in terms of these ones i go to julia k chris website um, I'll put the link in the description as well. And she has a bunch of design freebie type stuff. Um, and one of them is app icons, desktop icons. Um, so here's a bunch of free icons. So you can literally just download these, um, just click on it and then open up like that. And then you can like save it. So you double click and then you can go save image as, and it'll save as a PNG for you so you can use it. So we're gonna double click, save image as, uh, coffee, whatever, fill white. I'm gonna save it under mm, photos, sure. Save, new folder, and then your folder will pop up on this side. So what you do is you go, you hover above the folder, you double click, so put two fingers on the trackpad, and then go to get info. And then this little thing will pop up here my other uh, coffee that I put in my photos. I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna drag, and I'm gonna drop it over this little icon right there. And when I put it over, the little coffee will pop up and then your little coffee will be there. 3.28 a.m. 
All right, so for the sake of this video, I'm gonna try making my own collage. Um, so there's a couple that are like free to use on here. So we can edit all of these. So we need to find some pictures. So how many pictures do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pictures. So we need to go and search up some images. Okay, and after like way too long, here's an example of something that I just like whipped up on Canva. Um, just a few of my interests, a few of my pictures. Download, and then it'll download for you. And then what you can do, this is normally what I do. I go and I just drag it to my desktop. Exit out, exit out. And then you can do your screensaver like that. So yeah, I know that my face wasn't in this video very much, but that's my MacBook Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed just a few of those little tips, like how to edit your icons and how to download that cool little function to go and do the analog clock, which is super dope. Um, and I also hope you guys enjoyed the unpackaging of that because I think it looks really cool and I wanted to do that with you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And even if you hit that little bell by the subscribe, that really helps me out too because you'll be notified when I upload a video every five days. All right, bye guys. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye.